Hi everyone, welcome back to SG Doctor Wellness. My name is Dr. Chen Yiming. This is the last video in this sleep disorder series. Have you heard of bruxism? It is a fairly common sleep disorder. Have you heard the sound of teeth grinding or clenching from your kids or from your partners during their sleep? Does it irritate the hell out of you? Well, guess what? Your partner may be suffering from what we call bruxism. Watch till the end of the video to find out more about it. And if you're new to our channel, click on the subscribe button now. Bruxism is a condition in which you grind or clench your teeth. This condition may happen when you're awake or when you're asleep. Awake bruxism is when you unconsciously clench your teeth when you're awake. Sleep bruxism is the same action, but it happens while you're asleep. Sleep bruxism is considered a sleep-related movement disorder. People who clench or grind their teeth during sleep are more likely to have other sleep disorders such as snoring and even sleep apnea. To learn more about obstructive sleep apnea, click on the link on the top right of your screen now. Mild bruxism may not require treatment. However, in some people, bruxism can be frequent and severe enough to lead to jaw disorders, headache, damaged teeth, and other problems. Signs and symptoms of bruxism include teeth grinding or clenching, which may be loud enough to wake up your sleeping partner, sleep disruption, dull headache starting in the temples, pain that feels like an earache, jaw, neck, face pain or soreness, tired or tight jaw muscles or locked jaw, dental issues like chipped, loose or fractured teeth, even one toothed enamel. We're still not exactly sure what causes bruxism, but it could very well be due to a combination of physical, psychological and genetic factors. Risk factors that may increase your chance of getting bruxism include stress, Increased anxiety and stress, anger and frustration can lead to teeth grinding. Age. Bruxism is actually more common amongst young children, but it usually goes away by adulthood. Third, personality type. Having an aggressive, competitive or hyperactive personality may increase your risk. Family history. Sleep bruxism tends to occur in the family. Substance abuse. Smoking, alcohol, caffeinated beverages or even use of recreational drugs may increase your risk of bruxism. Treatment of bruxism involves lifestyle changes, identifying any underlying stressor and managing it, treating the actual teeth, actual act of teeth grinding and clenching. So firstly, cut back on your alcohol smoking and avoid the use of recreational drugs. If the underlying cause is stress or anxiety, then psychological treatments like cognitive behavior therapy may help. Exercise and healthy diet can help you combat stress. And it's important to try to get a good night's sleep to help you wind down and relieve stress. Click on the link on the top right of the screen now to know more about the natural methods to help you sleep better. Dental checks are important to identify any problems that long-term teeth grinding can create. Crack, crooked or missing teeth, misaligned teeth and even worn-out enamels needs to be treated. A prescribed mouth guard or mouth spleen worn at night during sleep may be very helpful. They even out the pressure across your jaw and create a physical barrier between your upper and lower teeth to protect them from further damage. These guards can also help reduce any grinding noises you make at night. In severe cases, medications may be necessary. Muscle relaxants may be given for a short period just before bedtime. Botulinum toxin injections into the jaw muscles can also help reduce bruxism. For patients who are suffering from anxiety and depression, some antidepressants and anti-anxiety medications may help too. So understand more about bruxism. Even more importantly, understand the underlying causes of it and the implications on our sleep and dental health. There are treatments for this condition. Subscribe, like and share this video. Until the next time, stay safe and stay healthy.